we're in Kirkuk. So we made it to Kirkuk. Um, just a bit of an issue. Like, I was supposed to meet someone here and uh, there was a bit of a mix up. Anyway, we're going to the taxi driver's house to meet his wife and child. And then um, I think a contact is meeting me here and then I don't know. So we will see, going with the flow. So I finally got to Kirkuk and I'm at the taxi driver's house, Uday. And he invited uh, Amel and I into his home. He actually invited us here to stay if we wanted to. But I have someone else to stay. So this is his home. Here's Amel again. Hi, Amel. Hello. You're still here. I'm still here. Um, that's my son. And here is Uday. 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 Thank you, Uday. Thank you very welcome, much. Welcome, welcome. And, and how old is your son? 14. 14. 14? Yes. You speak English? Nothing easy? No. no. We're just sitting here hanging out for a little while and for a meet um, up with someone else. So, took about three hours or so, something like that, to get here. So, we're here now finally for one night. Just having some tea with Uday. His lovely wife made some tea and what are they? Biscuits? Yeah, biscuits. Tea and biscuits. Is it possible to have a nice tea? cup of tea? tea. Whilst no, I'm um, yeah, waiting on another friend to come <laughs> because up and take show us around. So, and um, one of my subscribers got in touch with me, uh, another subscriber, and I met up and with her lovely family and the daughter here. You want to in introduce yourself? My name is Metab. Metab, and you speak perfect English, right? Yeah. And wh where are we going? I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know? And we're going there. And you're from Kirkuk, right? Yes, yes. And tell me about, um, you're, you're Turkmen? Turkmen, yes, I'm Turkmen. Turkmen, and there's lots of Turkmen's here? Yes, this place, this actually, this place is originally made to be a Turkmen city. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh, well, yeah, you know. And there's lots of others, uh, so there's Turkmen's here. Yeah. Um, there's Turkmen's, there's uh, Kurdish and Arabic. Kurdish. Yeah. What else, what else can you tell me about Kirkuk? Um, it's an ancient city. Yes. And there are like lots of, you can be whatever you want to be. Here? Yes. You can do what you want? Yes, it's a free, like, it's free. Really? It's, a, it's like a very liberal city? Like, yeah. Like, you can, like, you're kind of free to whatever, whatever you want, depending yeah. on your parents' choices. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> so you can, you can go out yeah. and party all night if you want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people actually do that. Go, we, we sometimes do weddings, like, on the streets. Really? Yes. So My dad has to stop multiple times ah. because of the weddings. We're in an ancient place here. Yes. Okay, so the historical place we were going yeah, to go is Shah. They didn't allow us to go in. Yeah. So now we can only go there on Sunday. Yeah, and I'm not going to be here. So we're in this animal market. Yeah, there's chickens a lot. There's like a lot of birds mostly. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the place. Yes, the floor is all muddy. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> so we're in the chicken aisle here. Chicken aisle? Yeah. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Some people say this man says, the cook is a mess. The cook is a mess? People say that. They do? Yeah. Because it's so like crowded and like random things. Oh. Like, yeah, it's unexpected. Oh. There are lots of pet stores in here actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, so what's down there? Still more pets? Uh, yeah, there's a bazaar. It's a bazaar. Oh, I like, I like, can, I like bazaars. Yeah, you can Let's buy Let's go to the stuff. bazaar. Let's run away from everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can buy like random We're, we're going to run away from yes. everybody and sneak away there from the bazaar. There are lots of like um, things you can buy. There's even random things. I hope you're all going to get in trouble from your mom, are you? No. <laughs> She loves me to do anything. She loves you. She likes you to do anything? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's good. Yep. <laughs> There's that water. Like. And how do you like school? No. No? It's annoying. Is this bizarre on every day? Yeah. Okay. They sell tours and clubs. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is what I meant when I said unexpected things happen. I just got stopped by the police. Yeah. That's, that happens a lot. Let me find a quiet area. So I just got stopped by the police and told to stop videoing. But um, then I, I explained I was YouTubing and 
showed him my channel and he said it was okay. thinks I'm Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> they think I'm a Ukrainian refugee. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's happened like three times. Yeah. Uh, and there's gonna be four. It's a little walk around the modern part of um, Kirkuk here. I really don't have a lot of time here. I don't even know why I came here. I just got the taxi uh, up and I have to go back tomorrow because then I leave. So we're gonna go to this coffee place. I think we're gonna go a coffee place? Yeah. So you it's called Spanish time. It's so so good. you had tell tell me how did you learn your English? YouTube. YouTube. Yes. And what age did you start learning English on YouTube? Literally when I was like two or something. Really? Voila. That, yeah, yeah. And you've had no lessons at all? No. I don't even I didn't even study for my year exams and I got a 90. Really? Yeah. All from YouTube. Was it just watching movies or, or doing English lessons? Literally, this, there's this family YouTube channel called um, Final Vision. I, I watched them to the point where I knew fluent English. Really? And how long did that take you? Like t ten, yeah, nine years. Yeah. To the eight years. Did you? Oh, there's this place, this place mini suit. It brings from stuff from Korea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this around. Yeah, it's really like cute. Yeah, yeah it's cool. <laughs> so, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to open a restaurant. A restaurant. That's I'm right. Cooking food. That's all right. You want to open a restaurant? Yeah, I want to open a restaurant. So what do you do for fun here on the weekends? On the weekends, I just stay at home. You don't hang out with friends? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah? Yeah, I don't do much actually. No? Yeah. Why? Nothing much? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes on Friday, like on weekends, um, Kirkuk can be like really crowded and it's annoying and I hate it. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I still can't get over how good your English is. Yeah. <laughs> I've, met lo I've met lots of people that I've learned on YouTube. Yeah. But I think you're the youngest one. Yeah, I'm the youngest one. That, uh, that sounds... This is a world record. But you sound completely... I non sound American. Yeah, you do. You don't sound... Uh, you, you have no Arabic accent at all. Yeah. Arabic accents are like kind of indie, like in indie kind of. You have no accent at all. It's really unusual. Yeah, it's unusual. <laughs> but you, grew, you did well done. Go in here. It's so good. What it's is like, it? Coffee it's place? It's a coffee place. It's called Anishtein. Okay. Going in for coffee. Are you getting Albert Anishtein? What? Uh, you know Albert Anishtein? Albert Einstein? You know him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know him well. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> okay. This We're going into Einstein. A, oh, here we go. Place, this place is physically about him, actually. There he is. Einstein. Yeah. This is a great place. Very nice. Yeah. Lots of pictures of Einstein, Einstein, Einstein. There's Einstein up there. Yeah. I can't believe you're only 10. You're only 10? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so smart. Yeah. The future of Iraq. <laughs> so Tikrit is um, a rich city. I didn't yeah, realize it. It, it is. Yeah. You want to explain? No. <laughs> they call it the city of... Hello. <laughs> they call it the city of black gold. Because, yeah. Because of the oil, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of oil in here. I didn't realize that it. Yeah. Was, I didn't realize... We're literally getting attacked every single year. <laughs> I didn't realize there was so much oil here. Yeah, there's a lot and of oil. I, I didn't realize it was such a um, such a rich uh, a rich city. Yeah, it's really rich. Well, this is a modern park. Yeah, clothes. Fancy schmancy clothes. <laughs> fancy schmancy. Yeah. So look at the modern. I wore a jacket because it got cold. 
it's the, we're, we're out for dinner now in yeah. the, the ultra modern. Yeah, it's fancy. It's really fancy. It's really fancy. Look at it here. Look at it. This, I did not expect Kirkuk to be like this yeah. at all. Look how fancy everything is. Yeah. Um, restaurants. Yeah, which one do you all want? Of, all of do you this want street. This one or that one? I don't know. <laughs> They're both really good. I mean, this one's giant. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, this one. They're all fancy because, yeah. Hello. Hi. We're just waiting on her mom. Yeah, my mama. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I don't know what it is. This is a mall. I've never been here before. This is Another mall? There's so many malls here. What does that say? That says mall. Oh. Mall center. Okay. Another mall. Yeah, there's so many malls. Okay. We can walk yeah. down now. We're walking down now. Yeah, we're gonna go back. We're, we're gonna just... go eat. I wish I'd I wish I'd known that this place was like this. I would have spent more time here. Yeah. But next time actually. Next time I we will spend more time again. here. Okay, it's night time. We just ate. Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good night from me. Good night. <laughs> it's market day today. It's Friday. And everybody's buying the birds. I'm trying to get to the citadel up here. But having to walk through all the, these people buying birds. <laughs> buying their budgies and their, their geese and their pigeons and stuff. Alright. I can't believe how many birds people buy. Look at them all. Right, we're trying to get up there. Some goats. And a horse. Everybody's got their birds. So, uh, walking up into the Kirkuk citadel, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning lots about Kirkuk that uh, I didn't realize how ethnically diverse it was. It, it is. What, what do we have? What do they have here? You have Turks. Yes, Turks, Turkmen, Turkmen, and Kurds, Kurds, and Arabs also, Arabs, Armenian, Armenian, and Kildanian and Ashurian. So they are Christian. Uh huh. Yes. So many uh, different languages. Many different languages. Yes. And you, you at home, you speak. Turkmen. We, you speak Turkmen, yes. Yeah. But outside, if you meet uh, Arab people, you speak Arab. Because yeah. It's a general language. Yeah. As like as in most of Iraq. Yeah. yeah. And it's and it's and it's a very rich, oil-rich place. Yeah. Yes. Kirkuk is famous with oil. It's called Black Gold City. Black Gold City. I had no idea. Um, yeah. Definitely a place I would want to spend a lot more time here exploring because there's so much to explore and the time I had here was definitely not enough like just one night one I will be coming back uh, when I come back to Iraq so this yeah so this dates back to the Babylon and Assyrian era okay that's prophet Daniel over there as usual in Iraq unfortunately there's no information on anything <laughs> when you get to a place there's just nothing I'm not exactly sure oh, look at the detail on this with all the graffiti on the wall around here it's just falling apart look at it look at this place so sad so this was a shrine for a famous girl for a famous girl they call it uh, Sultan Kuzi Binti Sultan which means uh, the king's daughter oh okay she was very uh, humble uh -huh. she went to pilgrimage 
to Mecca and back then she died in here. Oh, okay. So they used to, in that time, they used to pray in here and uh, keep nights worshipping in here. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. So look at this. It's just ruins as far as you can, as far as I can see, it's just ruins and ruins. Okay. So this is a shrine here of Prophet Daniel. He died here apparently. Look at that minaret, looks like it's going to topple down. There's an area here. I guess families come here for picnics and stuff. So this is the Republic of Turkey renovated the place. Look at this ancient minaret here. Michelle, Prophet Michelle, mm -hmm. but there's no there's tomb no, in there. Yes, there's no tomb in there for Michelle. Yeah. So now I don't know where we're going. Oh, what is this? Oh, Ottoman officers? Yes, that time they died in here. And just in here? Yes. And what are all the other ones? I don't know what he said. Wow, he died in the year 131 in Arabic here. These are houses. Abandoned and destroyed. Mm. We've all abandoned it. Right. Ruined has he's from the castle. Sit down. A bit like heat. All just abandoned like that. Ruins. And the beautiful turquoise uh, domes. Oh. oh wow. This is Prophet Daniel's mom's. Oh. They don't know who is who is died in here. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah, but the, that's obviously they are important persons. Okay. Yeah. And obviously very old. Yeah, yeah. When we yeah. say old, means thousands and thousands yes. of years ago. <laughs> Too old. This guy kindly just <laughs> unlocked this and let us have a look around here. Yeah. Yeah. Make it. Yeah. Make it. Obviously. I'm not going to get over to see the whole of this um, these ruined areas because I don't have time. Right, well, you can see from here. There's a lot to see. Perfect. Uh, How's this? Look at this view, guys. Look. Okay. Amazing. Look at that. I'm gonna follow him. I'm coming. Ah. Uh huh. Wow, yeah. beautiful. Check out all the ruins here. Right, very end here. Right, up by these stones here. Here, look how ancient that minaret is. It doesn't look like it's going to fall down though, like the one in. Uh, Heat. <laughs> Very interesting place here. I wish I had more time. Uh, lots of interesting facts here in Kirkuk. So these are the keys for the. This is for the door. For the door. Yes, the door. yes, the Asian yes, door. Yeah, the main yes. Yes. Wow. It's the key for the door. The original keys. Wow. Yes. Yes. 
That's amazing. So that's it. We have to having to leave the citadel castle now because our time. I don't have enough time. I'm actually leaving Baghdad. I'm leaving Iraq tomorrow. So this was a quickest last minute trip. Um, I wanted to squeeze one more place in before I left, and I was contacted with spent time with Shema who's super nice she's one of my subscribers again and I uh, spent some time with her and her lovely family and I have just I definitely have to spend more time in Kirkuk it's somewhere I, I could easily spend several days maybe even a week exploring because there's so much here but back through the mayhem of the market of animals okay trying to get out of the animal market here I'm just going to say goodbye to this amazing woman, Shema, and she doesn't want to be on camera, but thank you so much for everything. You're an amazing, inspirational woman. Thank you. And I will see you the next time. Uh, absolutely. Next, I did not know there was so much here, and uh, next time I'm definitely coming back to Kirkuk, and I'm going to spend longer. So it's goodbye from Kirkuk.